everybody. So this video is going to be my review slash haul of Candles by Victoria. Now Candles by Victoria is a mainly web-based company, but she also has a brick and mortar store in Van, Texas. But the website is nice for those of us who don't live in or near Van, Texas. And Candles by Victoria website is a little bit overwhelming at first. If it's your first time visiting, I would suggest first going to her scent descriptions page. And she has over 500 cents on her website, so that's the reason why I say it can be overwhelming because the first time I went there, honestly, like I went to the website, um, spent five minutes looking at it, and just closed the web browser altogether because I was so overwhelmed. But then someone recommended to me that I kind of think about what scents I like the best. And I am a real big fan of bakery, fruity, and beachy scents, which is nice because she has different um, categories of her scent descriptions. So the thing that I purchased from her, because I think this is the easiest way to kind of try scents before, um, you know, committing to a full-size candle, are these scent shots. And basically a scent shot is um, just a hunk of wax, and there's no wick in it or anything like that, but it's a hunk of wax that comes in this little plastic container. These plastic containers, um, or not the plastic container, the scent shots are $1.95, and in it comes a hunk of wax that looks like this. And basically what you do with this hunk of wax is you put it into a tart burner. And there are all different types of tart burners, but this is the one that I have. Not from Candles by Victoria, but I will be purchasing one from her soon. But basically you put the wax here in the top, and then you put a tea light in the bottom. And you light the tea light, and it warms the wax and turns the wax kind of into a liquid pool of wax. And then this gives off um, the most amazing fragrance. That's the first thing I want to say about Candles by Victoria is her candles not only rival some of the bigger candle companies in terms of scent, cost, price, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, cost and price are the same thing. I meant to say um, quality, but I honestly think her candles surpass some of the higher brands. So these scent shops are a great way to try scents, and so I'll get started and tell you which ones I have. The first one I have is Simply Delicious, and this is a mix of pecans and vanilla is what I mainly smell. Again, um, I would definitely go and check out her website and her scent descriptions because I don't know if I'm describing them properly, but to me, my nose smells pecans and vanilla, and this one smells absolutely amazing. This is like the epitome of like a delicious bakery scent. The next one is kind of a funny story because I emailed Victoria a while ago, and I asked her if she could create a scent that smelled like orange Pillsbury rolls. Now, if you guys know, Pillsbury, make, Pillsbury makes um, cinnamon rolls, but they also have one that's called an orange roll, and it's a really good like cinnamon roll, basically, that has, because I don't think it's a cinnamon roll, it's just like a bakery dough, and it has... Um, like an orange-infused frosting to it. It just smells delicious. And she said, no problem, just go ahead and let me know on your next order. Well, my first order, I forgot to, you know, add that note in there, and I just ordered a bunch of scent shots, and then I opened this one up. This one's orange chiffon cake, and this one smells exactly like orange rolls from Pillsbury. So um, it smells exactly like the bakery dough with that um, orange frosting. Honestly, like if I were to be baking the orange rolls in my oven right now and smelling this, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. And as you can see, half of my scent shot is missing because I would, I would recommend cutting them in half. I wouldn't recommend putting the whole chunk in your tart burner. And that's the one that I'm burning now. And something else to note about scent shots is that the scent, uh, the cold throw and the hot throw are going to be uh, maybe slightly different on each candle. So, for example, if I were to open this one and smell it and say, oh, that might not be my, you know, absolute favorite scent, um, go ahead and put it in your tart burner anyway because the scent, when it's hot, is going to be a little bit different than the scent when it's cold and you may discover that you absolutely love the scent when it's hot. So those are my bakery scents. The next ones I got were fruity and the first one I got is Lemon Lime Fizz and this one smells like the perfect mix of um, citrus, so like the lemon and the lime and the fizz, like the carbonation of like Sprite or 7-Up. That's exactly what this smells like. This is exactly what that smells like to me is like Sprite or 7-Up. So that one's delicious. I think I'm going to be buying this one in a full size. The next one I have is Macintosh Apple, and I was kind of surprised because I figured Macintosh Apple would be red, but it's green. <clears throat> and this one smells exactly like fresh apples. Um, uh, this one's just amazing. This one smells like you just cut into a fresh apple, and just absolutely fresh. And um, her scents are act are absolutely dead on for you know what they're supposed to smell like. That one's amazing. <clears throat> The next category that I purchased from is house blends, and house blends are ones that she creates based on a lot of different things. It could be customer creations, it could be inspired by YouTubers, it could be a bunch of different things. The two that I got are both inspired by YouTubers. This one was inspired by Makeup by Tiffany D. This one is called Tiffany D. And this candle to me, or this scent to me, um, I think it's watermelon, vanilla, cotton candy, and honeydew, I think are all the notes of it. And this one is, to me, the epitome of, like, um, 
a girly, sweet, uh, fruity scent. This one's absolutely amazing, and I think this is another one that I'm going to be buying in full size. I absolutely love this one. The next one is Silent Bob Goes to the Beach, and this is inspired by a male YouTuber, and I don't remember his name, so I'm not even going to try, but um, again, this is inspired by him. And this one smells like the perfect mix of, like, coconut, pineapple, and, like, good smelling suntan lotion. This one reminds me of the beach and makes me want to be there right now. <laughs> um, the next one uh, is Candleman's Closet. Now, Candleman's Closet is a category on Victoria's website, and Victoria makes uh, candles that are dupes of a large company's most popular scents. And basically, this company contacted her a while ago and said, basically, you're not allowed to use our names or anything that even resembles our names or anything that, you know, whatever. Just It was this big whole ordeal. I mean, not a big whole, or, whole ordeal on Victoria's part, but this company was making a big, huge deal out of it. Victoria, being the amazing woman that she is, took a whole entire day and changed the names of her scents. So I'm going to cover this one right here because I don't want to get Victoria in trouble because this is the old scent name. Uh, but the new scent name on this one is Bath Time with Pooh. <clears throat> and how cute is that name? I think that's adorable. And... I actually think that this candle smells better than the product that she's actually duping. And maybe that's why. I don't know. Um, this one's just absolutely amazing. It's like a good, it's a scent um, that kind of reminds me of honey and clean at the same time. And I know clean is like a really weird way to describe it, but like if you smell this and if you know what product I'm talking about, you know why I would say this. And I'm going to go ahead and put a link to Victoria's YouTube in the description box as well, so you can kind of search back through her videos and find the video where she talks about why she had to change the names of her products, because then it'll all make sense if you're familiar with this company, which pretty much everyone on YouTube is very familiar with this company that makes bath and body products. So this one smells exactly like um, that product, if not better, and this one's fantastic. And with every single order, Victoria includes um, a free scent shop, which I think is fantastic, and it's just a random scent shop that she just picks and throws in there. The one that she picked for me, or not for me, but the one that happened to be placed in my order was Honeysuckle. And I'm not really a big floral uh, fan, so Honeysuckle's not quite my cup of tea. Um, one thing to note about scents, I mean, this smells dead on like Honeysuckle, so. Um, one thing to note, though, about scents is there are absolutely no bad scents. There are just scents that your nose happens to prefer over others. For me, I prefer bakery, fruity, and, like, beachy scents, whereas someone else may prefer, like, floral and clean scents. So you may love honeysuckle. For me, um, it's just not my favorite. Do you guys have any suggestions on any, like, bakery, fruity, or beachy type scents, or any floral scents that you think I might like? Because I'm not really a big floral fan, but I know people say, oh, well, you know, certain scents don't smell like florals, or, you know, something like that. But if you guys have any recommendations, please, please, please go ahead and comment below and let me know which ones you guys would recommend because I'm planning my next order um, for Candles by Victoria. And two important things that I would do if you want to learn more about Candles by Victoria, I would go to her either, actually three, either go to her Twitter because she tweets all the time. I would go to her YouTube because and subscribe because she always has something going on on her new YouTube channel. She has contests. She has giveaways. She's just incredibly generous to her subscribers. And then the third thing I would do is go to CandlesByVictoria.com, take a look around, and sign up for her newsletter. Because her newsletter gives you all the newest information for that month. And every single month she has some sort of promotion going on. So, for example, when I made my purchase, uh, I think it was either a 10 or 15% off your order. So that was fantastic. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, again, if you have any suggestions, go ahead and write them in the comment box. Thanks, guys, and have a great day. Bye.